Uh, welcome to Red Dead Redemption, everybody. I, sorry, I missed uh, posting a video. You know, I typically do two videos, but I ended up getting sidetracked. So I did make it a little bit easier in between episodes. I did run over here. I did run to the bridge in there. Oh, I was not looking at my screen. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who you are. <laughs> we heard that just magically open. Ah, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to uh, see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice what? to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle? Oh, Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> Oh, that one. That one. <laughs> Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Every time. Hey, well, with luck, I'll be able to get in and out without them noticing. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. <clears throat> Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. The moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm more for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they're really barely some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. <laughs> now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. He just robbed their <laughs> horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, I doubt then. that. <clears throat> the way Sean talks, it makes me say almost anything. Yeah, like nobody can complain about it because they get the R's instead of ass. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Yeah. Here. 
I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> if I can find a video, yeah, we'll close it short. Oh. It's a, a short I have posted uh, on my yeah, Xbox. This wagon starts hey. boosting out last time I did this mission. <clears throat> I'll look for it after the video if I find out posted. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. Yeah, let's get up there. Whoa. What you want, boy? I've, I've. There, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I thought I'm you new. Question that. I mean, you know, harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, <sighs> Uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around <clears throat> here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of me. Just in there. Ah, uh, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy, because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite that fancy. <coughs> oh, <coughs> look here till it gets down. He don't. <coughs> <coughs> How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? What? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. Oh, 
burn quietly. <clears throat> There's someone coming on the left. Gotta be careful, there's only so much you can do here. Ha. Oh, hey! Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, <laughs> okay? I'll take care of this fella. I tried taking all of them and burning it. It does not work. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. You're going to dance with tobacco. All right, next. That should do it. That I'm gonna douse this too. Oh, hey. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up. <laughs> Woohoo! Would you look at that? Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. You ain't leaving here! We'll hold this lot up. You get those fields properly gone. Somebody shoot them already! I got the red head! Grab some horses from the stable. Come on! Not right now. We got company. Look out!
was gone. There goes out right out of here. You're done. The wagon we saw come in earlier. We can nick the horses from that. All right, where is he? This way. Jesus! There's more of them. Let's go. More guys coming in. You ask for it. Oh, this way. My battery is too low. Time's up. No way out of here. We should have been gone by now. Let's move. They seem to be taking it well. This is a goddamn mess. Who did you think it was going to be a mess? Aren't they? They haven't unloaded our cash yet. They didn't tell you there'd be an army of them? They didn't tell me nothing. All right, come on, we'll take those horses. Well, let's yeah, see if the payroll is actually in there. Hurry up. Oh, boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Great, right, well, let's go. Look here, you get them horses, free marker. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here, fast! You <clears throat> right, follow me! Oops, it's a pain to go through that. Four men, up ahead! Son of a bitch! To a party. You call that a party? That rate weight had got a money's worth, Arley. Let's just get out of here first. Okay, I don't know which way we're going, Sean. I think we lost them. Now we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Later. I, I got some business. Right you are, English. Another job well done, I'd say. I made 200 bucks out of that. I saw like a thousand. Right. Uh, debating if I want to do. Actually, I gotta go back to camp anyways. My actual horse is over here. You did good with that graze business. Behaving yourself? Yeah. All right, well, that's something. Hmm. Does not reply at all. Yeah. Whoa! Actually, uh, I am going to end the video here. And the next episode, we'll be doing the Dutch mission there. So. Y'all